Okay, let's prepare the cable for termination. Firstly, you would notice the cable is quite rigid, okay, but at the same time, it's slightly bent. We need the cable as straight as we possibly can. To do this, it's quite simple. Just using your hand, just bend the cable until you get it as straight as you possibly can. I think that will do. Then very much like the SWA, the first item we need to use is the shroud. We need to put this on. It's very important we do this now because after we've terminated the whole cable, if we've forgotten this, we have to strip the whole end down to put it back on. Similarly to the SWA, all we're gonna do is place it over the top of the cable, like so. This allows us to see where the end of the cable comes on the shroud. And using a pair of pliers, we can just cut it straight off. Once we've done this, we can just place the shroud back over the top of the cable. Place it all the way down the cable. Get out of the way, don't need it in the way now. The second thing to consider is how much cable we need to strip back so we can see the conductors. This is very important, very much like the SWA, you have more conductor showing than what you actually need. At least you can cut it down. If you make it too short, then obviously you may have difficulty with terminations at a later date. For the rule of thumb, I'm going to use my whole hand plus my thumb to indicate where I should strip it back to. Using my electrician's lock knife, I will just ring around the cable. And then cutting away from myself, I can remove the PVC coating. The next actual item we need to use is the MI joy stripper. This tool has many holes in its barrel and each one of those holes is for a different size cable. The tool is set up at 2L1.5. The first number, 2, determines how many conductors are inside the cable. This cable has two conductors, so hence 2. The L is for light gauge. This means the cable can handle up to 600 volts. The 1.5 is the size of the conductors inside the cable, 1.5 millimetres. As you can see, the holes inside the joy stripper are round, which makes an important item about how you actually cut this cable. The preferred tool to cut this cable would be the junior hacksaw. This allows a straight, clean cut. Unlike a pair of pliers, that when cutting, the cable ovals it, making it incredibly difficult to fit into the round holes within the joy stripper. As you can see, using the junior hacksaw, I now have made it from being oval to circular, which means it will go into the joy stripper a lot easier.